Hello and welcome back to the uh, channel and today I'm going to be doing a slightly different vi uh, video on Heart of Iron 4 as you probably guessed f uh, from the title and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial um, on this game as I'd say I'm pretty good at the game as I have like I have over 1000 hours in the game so I should know what I'm talking about. Personally, I uh, re re recommend the uh, January first, nineteen thirty-six one, as as you will, and you can like choose to do like alternative um, history stuff. These ones um, up here are kind of like the majors um, in uh, in uh, World War Two. These ones down here do have focus trees, but. They start off uh, we uh, weaker. By the way, I thought I'd just quickly me uh, mention that uh, that this is being re recorded before the Scandinavia DLC is is released. So I won't be be covering anything from there. If if you want to like have like an um, easy plan play playthrough, I recommend playing as 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 Germany. If you're not conf um, confident in your ability at at, at at this game, you can knock it down to uh, to a lower di uh, difficulty, but. I'm going to be doing this on uh, regular, and um, Iron Man is uh, just for um, achievements. So if you want to go for achievements, um, just tick this box uh, here, here, and this and this icon should. Sh but then you can't like save or go back to um, pre previous save. So so use that um, at your own risk. Once you're Re ready to then just press start and just wait for it to, to uh, start and if you have a a six core 12 thread cpu uh like what i have um it should be cpu 6 that's put under stress and uh, stress uh, so anyway let's get st uh, started with the main thing or with the first thing in these notifications up here uh, re uh, re research. Germany star starts off with four re uh, research slots out of a maximum of five. So if you press it and um, go to this and click on this button here, here for the industry tab, I personally I would start start off by dedicating two re research slots to uh to production and and construction so by pressing uh, also uh, clicking that and then pressing these research on both of these and then i would also and for your starting uh research i i would also re recommend clicking on the, on this one here for en en engineering and and doing um, electronic mechanical engineering as it gives you some more re uh, research speed and um and the okay and for the in industry ones uh, this gives um, um production efficiency cap which i'll explain later and and construction basically allows you to build f uh, faster and with your last re research slot i would i, I would recommend going into in into this tab and researching the uh, the first the first tech uh, for uh, support uh, uh, for support air equipment which basically gives extra defense for like all for basically all of your infantry divisions and its breakthrough and all of the inf infantry uh, d derivatives and next is your industry uh, I would re recommend building civilian factories until like 1938 and then g b build mil military factories and two quick tips I would recommend 
um, building the uh, f uh, factories or factories at the beginning of of the game with like it in a in a states with with the highest infrastructure, which uh, you can see where my cursor is here is uh, here. This state has eighty percent, and my and my second tip is that if you press shift and then left click yeah you you can um max out the amount of uh, of um, building slots um in that state with the with the uh with the maximum amount of said building okay next is your military production and okay so first what i pass personally do is to delete a, a a production line you press this button and then press enter and now for the military factory allocation uh 10 fa uh, factories on on guns and for this i, I would press this uh, five times button, so each of the squares, instead of one factory, it becomes equivalent to five factories. Then do this with this, so you can like put, um, produce more stuff. And then, oh yeah, and then press this build, um, this button here for civilian train and toad at and the end and drag like each up to the top and i would recommend putting navy at the bottom and then ba ba basically put the trains at the bottom and then for the navy i would just press the bottom right square on every ship to then press this button here and then put convoys to 15 and yes i know you only start start with 10 dockyards but it's fine ne next is the focus tree and for i'll i'll just be be i guess demoing the 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 historical path so that will be uh rhineland instead of uh, doing rhineland's straight our way you would want to um do this one first because it gives um because it get because it gives you access to uh, to this guy which um increases civ uh, civilian um industry speed then press start and it, and it allows you to like go down and next is the unassigned uh, divisions you could shift click uh this icon he uh, here and then press this button here here which puts them into an army and because the division limit usually per is uh tw is um 24 it can get up to uh 30, 30 but it's usually 24. if you press um s twice and then press this button again then press s two more times and then right click uh, this the, the um, original army and then if you shift click to our armies you, you just created and press this one on the left and note it has to be the one on the left to put all of those divisions into a single uh, field marshal thing and then you press this this button here and personally, um, I would recommend go, go going with uh, modal. You can do get like um, aggressive assaulter, which increases breakthrough, but, but um, by ten by ten percent. You would do the same with this, but instead of just go go going with the first general person you you see, I would look for ones with with this icon here which is infantry officer and preferably ones that like for example the this guy has infantry officer and engineer which which boosts attack in um over rivers and and forts so i recommend uh, this guy if you you press this button here here the uh, change the, the division templates button once you press the, uh, the field marshals portrait uh, down down here this drop down should uh, pop up and I I would just press this I would, I would convert all of these uh, well these six divisions here 
into uh, the um, into infantry and yes there's a, there's a lot of red but it's fine they'll be uh, replenished soon so then press ok if uh, if you press this button here twice that uh, that'll basically um, motorize the the supply which personally um um i've um, come to like call this uh this button the give supply button because that's basically what it does because it it, it basically just like extends the uh, range or of uh, supply hubs if you see this bar button here you can go into trade and if you see any like red so for example the i have uh, so i have a deficit of two rubber if you filter by ru rubber press this bit um of this button uh here. well it doesn't really matter this should automatically go to to how much you you need to to trade and then if you press send and once it it ticks um it should be delivered that's basically the starting thing done after you basically get all of your basics up and ready i am going to now um explain like what you you should research after you finish doing your your basic uh, first thing research so for example for industry you're gonna start start off with getting to uh, research it, um, improved machine tools and advanced machine tools and then depending on on the country you play on you could either go di um, go disperse or concentrated concentrated gives an, an extra five percent uh, to factory outputs, uh, but in exchange for that 5% factory output, dispersed um, increases pr uh, production eff eff efficiency re uh, retention, then production efficiency base, or your factories become like less v vulnerable to uh, um, planes. Then next, would I, I would recommend go uh, going with these two texts here. Uh, here. Also, I would recommend get, getting military police, which will help with uh, garrisoning um, artillery tab, which is uh, this one here. I would recommend keeping your artillery, so this column here, up to date, and keep anti tank and, and um, anti air kind of up to date. And then planes, well, Germany start, starts off with most planes or most plane uh, re research done so you don't really have to wait to um do anything with uh, this tab until 1939 where you can research the heavy machine guns and then for tanks unless you you want to, to have like blitzkrieging and just go dr drifting around everywhere. Once you've done, you've uh, researched um, everything else, keep these two col columns up to date and go down the medium tanks. If you're unable to get rubber and oil, I would recommend doing this branch uh, here and especially these two branches here, here. Because this video is taking ages to make, I'll quickly summarize the focuses I recommend you do. Firstly, for economy, I would recommend you rush down to KDF Wagon and the extra research slot, th then do Reich's Autobahn and then go down to to do a line Hungary and Romania. For the historical path of Germany, I would recommend rushing down to fate of, of Czechoslovakia and then if you have enough divisions ready, you can go and then go down to Danzig or war to start fighting the Allies. Once you complete four year plan, you should have enough, enough uh, pol uh, political power by then, which is uh, this number here. And so if you press, so if you press this portrait here, 
and go to this guy and if you left click it will assign that guy to your government this guy's traits will basically make your your civilian factories and uh, later infrastructure and uh, refineries after you get this guy i would recommend getting martin burnan because it, because you you get an extra 15% uh, political power power game. Originally I said to go with Himmler, but later on I changed my mind, so instead go go with with Joseph Goebbels. And before you get your third person here, I would go into here and get Franz Holder for the extra get 0.3 army XP daily and plus 10% division attack. By the way, the army XP is uh, this um, icon and the, and the number here. For the military high command, I would recommend getting Ferd Ferdinand this guy because he boosts in infantry attack by 10%, increases division defense by 15%. Also, if you get um, tanks, I, I would recommend having up the political power, power to get the Blitzkrieg uh, theorist. And that's it for the cover cabinet for early on. For the original f uh, footage, I forgot to to uh, show you how to make front lines. So that is what I'm quickly going to do here. Well, to make a front line, you would first you would first uh, select your your field marshal or general then press this button here and then left click the the border you you want that front line to to be on but if you want to make it shorter you press this button here and then right click this button here and then and, and then drag it to uh, to the length you want to do some actual pushes what uh, what you need to do it, um, is to press this button here and and then right click drag to the line you want to 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 push to press these green arrows here which activates the the order anyway that's the end of the video i apologize that this video didn't go up on time but as i said er earlier in this video this video did take ages to make compared to my videos so anyway um if you have any questions about hearts of iron 4 Please put them in the comments below and and I'll try and answer them. And and if you found th this video helpful, feel free to press that like button and that subscribe button for, for more Heart of Iron 4.